Hi all. In this video, we will discuss how to add a filter in our module inside Odoo 15. So, let us see what a filter is first. So here, inside the sales module, you can see an option called filters. And whenever you select any filter, here by default, if we have a filter, so I am removing that. And whenever you select any filter from here, that is sales orders, you can see all the sales here, those listed now are only sales orders. That is, you can see the status of sales orders. So based on the status, we are, can filter our records in a model. So let us see how we can do that in our custom model. So I have a module sorry model called vehicle.render and inside this we have few fields defined so let us see whether we can um, filter the records based on our fields like state or something so we define filter inside the filter tag so here you can see I have defined a new record called vehicle view render search Usually filters are defined in the search view. So we have to define a search string. And the model here is vehicle.render. Now inside the search string, uh, uh, we add the filter string that is here. We just inside the filter tag, we add a string so that in the front end, it will be displayed as available. So whenever a user clicks on this string or this that filter icon or filter menu, what uh, based on what condition the records will be filtered can be mentioned inside the parameter called domain. So here as a domain we are mentioning state is equal to available. So whenever a user clicks on the available menu inside the filter string, all the records which are in the state available will be displayed instead of displaying all random records. So also we have added not available to means this available is the state is a selection field then available and not available are its values which we have defined here that is available, not available and sold. We have three options is for the selection field. Next also we can filter based on the month and group by month. So here for group by, we just pass the context as group by is equal to date. So let us now just run this. And I am upgrading my model. So when I open this, what do you say, my model here. Currently, you can see the filters. Since we have only one record for the testing, we can just create few more records. That is, let me add few more records here. And I'm selecting a random date here. I'm duplicating this and adding a new record. Now, here you can see all the records are in state called available. So when I select not available, nothing will be displayed because there is no record which is in the state not available. But when I select available, we have everything displayed. So, and yeah, this is how we define 
filters or we how we add filter for a module in or inside a custom model in Odoo 15. For more info or any queries, you can just mail or reach out us at info at cyberprocess.com. Thank you.